Now you see him, now you don't. The most well-known image editing program in the world, Adobe Photoshop has long since changed from a noun to a verb to Photoshop now denotes the act of changing a photograph frequently with the intention of misleading or deceiving. However, the practice of photo manipulation predates the invention of Adobe Photoshop and even the personal computer. Early masters of photo manipulation were able to achieve impressive results using only primitive tools and techniques. The rise of digital technology has made photo manipulation easier easier and more widespread, but the basic concept of altering photographs to control public perception has been around for much longer. Welcome to another episode of High Technology. Join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. In this video, let's see how Stalin used photos as his greatest weapon, wiping the traces of his enemies from the history book. In America, photo manipulation was used in the movie industry. In Soviet Russia, it was used as a tool for the state's propaganda machine. The Soviet regime would not only produce official photos but would also alter previous official photos to reflect their changing preferred narratives. Stalin did not have access to Photoshop but that did not stop him from removing the traces of his political enemies from history. Using now primitive techniques, Soviet photo editors made once prominent individuals disappear and crafted photographs that depicted Stalin as the only true successor to Lenin, the leader of the Bolshevik Revolution and the founder of the USSR. In the Soviet Union, photo manipulation was used to literally erase people from history. After he came to power in 1929, Stalin declared war on those he considered to be enemies of the state. This result in the Great Purge during which many officials were executed. In some cases, these individuals were then removed from official photographs using primitive photo manipulation techniques. For example, a photo taken in the 1930s of five Communist Party officials in the USSR may show Abel Unikid standing next to Soviet Premier Yashilov Molotov and others. However, after Unikid was executed during the Great Purge, his image was removed from the photo and replaced with that of another official, effectively erasing his existence from a official records. Yanukids' removal from official photographs was part of a broader effort by Stalin to control public perception in the Soviet Union. Stalin's commitment to censorship and photo manipulation was so strong that he used it to rewrite history. These changes were not just historical in nature, but also had real-life consequences. The individuals who were removed from photographs were often purged or killed as Stalin's shifting loyalties dictated who was considered a friend or an enemy. After gaining power in 1929, Stalin declared war on those he considered to be enemies of the state. Beginning in 1934, he began purging an ever-changing group of political enemies. This period, known as the Great Purge, resulted in the deaths of an estimated 750,000 people and the banishment of more than a million others to remote areas for forced labor in Golaks. Many of those targeted during the purges simply disappeared from their homes, while others were executed in public after show trials. Since Stalin understood the value of photographs in both the historical record and his use of mass media to influence public opinion, those who were purged were often removed from official photographs as well. Stalin's rivals were removed from presumably documentary photos by a massive team of pictured editors. Nikolai Yasov, a member of the secret police who handled Stalin's purges, was among those who were erased. Yasov spent some time at Stalin's right hand, questioning, accusing thousands of Communist Party officials and directing their death. However, Yasov lost Stalin's favor in 1938 when one of his own deputies usurped him. He was accused, imprisoned in secrecy, tried in a secret court, and put to death. Then Yasov was erased from the photographic record by Stalin censors who also removed him from a picture of him grinning next to his old boss, Stalin, by a body of water. Yasov was deleted from the image by the picture editors and new water was added to fill the void left by Yasov. Stalin also used photo manipulation to remove the images of party officials who had been photographed with with him at various events. As the list of political enemies grew longer, official censors had to repeatedly retouch photographs to keep up. In one photograph, Stalin is shown with a group of three of his deputies. As each deputy fell out of favor with Stalin, they were removed from the photograph until only Stalin remained. It is believed that Stalin's obsession with photo manipulation led to the creation of a mini industry in the Soviet Union. Publishers were contacted by Stalin's agents and instructed to remove targeted individuals from upcoming photographs. 
photographs, which they did. According to design historian David King, who studied thousands of doctored photos and their original versions, this work was not performed in a centralized location or through any official ministry. Instead, it was done on an ad hoc basis. Editors would receive quiet orders to remove an individual from photographs and this would be carried out without any public acknowledgement. A simple word in an editor's ear or a discreet phone call from a higher authority was all that was needed to erase someone from the historical record no matter how prominent they may have been. In some cases, photo manipulation was used to alter the historical record. For example, after Leon Trotsky was exiled by Stalin for opposing his leadership, Trotsky's image was removed from many photographs. The line, who lives, who dies, who tells your story from the musical Hamilton would be relevant in this case. Stalin not only wanted to remove obstacles from his present but also to rewrite history. Stalin also asked his photo editors to add his own image into past photographs, giving the impression that he was close with Trotsky and trying to endear himself to supporters of Lenin. In reality, Stalin was never close with Trotsky. Stalin also ordered himself to be added to past photos or had photo technicians alter his appearance to make him look taller or more handsome. This was all parts of his efforts to control public perception and rewrite history in his own favor. Stalin's obsession with image manipulation extended beyond photographs. His official portraits were also subject to intense scrutiny. Stalin commissioned a large number of painters to create his official portraits offering them large sums of money. These portraits were then reproduced and retouched repeatedly until they met Stalin's approval. Even ordinary citizens had to participate in this effort. As Stalin's purges became more widespread, people who feared being labeled as his political enemies began to realize that owning photos of Stalin's political enemies even in books or magazines was dangerous. They learned to deface these materials themselves with scissors or ink. Some families of those who were arrested and condemned were even compelled to destroy photos photos of their loved ones in their own personal records. As photo manipulation became more common in the Soviet Union's propaganda efforts, it also became a way to avoid Stalin's wrath. For example, the famous photo of Soviet soldiers raising their flag over the bombed out Reichstag during the Battle of Berlin at the end of World War II was staged. It was based on the iconic flag raising at Iwo Jima and altered to avoid Stalin's anger. The photographer concealed the wrists of the soldiers which were covered in stolen wristwatches they had looted from German citizens on their way to Reichstag. Stalin had ordered his soldiers not to loot, so the watches would have resulted in the soldiers being disciplined or even killed. By altering the photo, the photographer was able to protect the soldiers from punishment. Stalin was not the only dictator who enjoyed doctoring photos. Adolf Hitler removed his propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels from a photo of him and director Leni Riefenstahl in 1937, though the reasons for this are unclear. Benito Mussolini circulated a famous photograph of himself riding a horse in victory, but cropped out the handler who was holding the horse. Kim Jong-un has also been reported to use Photoshop to make his ears appear smaller. After Stalin's death in 1953, the tradition of photo manipulation continued in the Soviet Union. For example, a famous photo of Soviet astronaut Yuri Gagarin taken after his return from space in April 1961 shows him shaking hands with Nikita Khrushchev while other officials look on. After the October 1964 coup led by Leonid Brezhnev, Khrushchev was removed from the photos through airbrushing, leaving Gagarin with his arm outstretched as if to shake hands with, well, nobody. This is a well-known example of a poorly executed Photoshop job. Joseph Stalin may not be known for his marketing abilities, but he was actually quite skilled at manipulating public perception through his use of doctored photos. The Soviet press presented him as an all-powerful, all-knowing leader and the public came to accept these manipulated images as truths. Stalin understood the value of both photo manipulation and media control in shaping public opinion. However, his use of photo manipulation was not just about vanity but also about erasing political enemies from the historical record and creating a future based on propaganda and lies. The removal of the evidently people in the background, hardly a major historical figure let alone a controversial one but still a real and maybe even living reminder that while the camera may lie, it can't hold its tongue forever. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best in cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. See you on the next one.